Hello, I'm Paul Brooks, and I thank you for returning this week to our Sunday School lesson and to our discussion of this week's daily Bible readings. In this video, I discuss with you the daily Bible readings accompanying spring lesson number one, the first lesson in this unit, The Scriptures Difficult to Understand. It's titled, Difficult Passages in Genesis and Exodus, with the central truth that even difficult scriptures contain truths for our benefit. Our daily Bible readings help us prepare for our weekly lesson and also serve as daily devotionals. Our lesson gives two tips for how to read and study God's Word to get the most understanding from it possible. There are two questions that should be uppermost in our thoughts regarding any passage of Scripture. One, what does this message tell about God and His will? Two, what truth does this passage reveal that applies to my life? On Monday, we began our reading with Deuteronomy chapter 30, verses 11 to 16, and read about God's word is near. Now, there may be many mysteries in the Bible, but knowing right from wrong and what is expected of us are not among them. Verse 11 plainly says, For this commandment which I command you this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. And what commandment is that? Well, we find it in verse 16. In that I command you this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments. Verse 16 goes on to tell us the reward. Thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee. Today, Tuesday, we read in Joshua chapter 23, verses 1 to 8, to turn not from God's word. Remember that God is in everything around us and within us. He is omnipresent and omnipotent. We are reading from Joshua's first of two farewell addresses to the people of Israel, but God can be speaking directly to you and I through Joshua. In verse 6, God commands the people of Israel, Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom to the right hand or to the left. This means that we should not add to or take away from God's word. He means it just, at, at, just as it's given by him. Verse 8 says, To cleave unto the Lord your God. Wednesday, we will read from Nehemiah chapter 8, verses 1 to 8, to understand God's word. This passage tells us of an event following the return from the captivity and the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. Nehemiah was their governor and Ezra was a priest. This was a celebration event where a huge crowd gathered, and when traditionally, prior to the captivity, the word was read publicly. The people asked Ezra to read the book of the Law of Moses to them, renewing the traditional public reading of God's word. The people showed respect for the word by standing during its reading and answering, Amen, Amen, at the end, while lifting their hands, bowing their heads, and humbly worshiping the Lord. The priest helped the people to understand the word while it was being read. Our devotional tells us the takeaway is this. It's good to read scriptures, but it's even better to read the word, understand it, and then apply it to our lives. Now, Thursday, we'll read from Matthew chapter 13, verses 36 to 43, and we'll hear how Jesus explained his parables. Just before this passage, we read in verse 
34 to 35, that Jesus preached to the multitudes in parables in order to fulfill prophecy. He was referring to the prophecy found in Psalm 78 verses 1 and 2. Jesus explains to his disciples the meaning of the parable, which he spoke to the people about Tars. And this is a prophetic message speaking of what is to come in the end times, when the godly shall be harvested while the evildoers shall be cast into fire, revealing the final destiny of the righteous and the unrighteous. On Friday, we read more from Acts 2, verses 14 to 21, about prophecy fulfilled and explained. This passage contains Peter's word, words to the crowds following the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples of Christ. Peter was able to discern and share that this event was the fulfillment of a prophecy found in Joel chapter 2 about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Verse 17 reminds us that the outpouring of the Holy Spirit is meant for all flesh or all people. And in verse 21, we see the salvation promise. And it shall come to pass that whomsoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. These two passages tell us that salvation and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit were not just for the disciples on the day of Pentecost. The fulfillment is continuing today, and the promise of the Holy Spirit is to all who believe in Christ. And on Saturday, we finish with another passage from Acts in chapter 13, verses 42 to 49, about the Lord's word proclaimed. In this passage, Paul is following his normal pattern of preaching the gospel first to the Jews, and then to the Gentiles. This he did with success as seen in verses 46 to 49. The message for us is that the gospel is for whoever will receive it. The most important question for you is, have you received it? I pray that this video and these daily Bible readings help you to begin understanding the message for this week. Even difficult scriptures contain truths for our benefit. Be watching our church Facebook page. I'll be posting another video later this week to provide additional instruction for your study of this week's lesson. All of our Sunday School videos and posts are recorded on the North Greensboro Church of God's Facebook page. I pray that you'll like and follow our page so that you might continue studying the Word of God with us. And as always, I pray for you and for your family's safety and for God's blessings upon you.